You know that proverb that says you have to crack a few eggs to make an omelet? You want to make an omelet, you gotta break some eggs. Yeah, that one. Well today, we're cracking around 50 eggs and we're making more than just omelets. I have found that around the world, eggs are one of our greatest unifiers. So today we are doing a special rapid fire episode. It is different than the typical format, just for this one fun time. We're gonna look at 27 dishes from all around the world, some of them pretty surprising, that I hope will inspire you with that carton of eggs in your refrigerator. All 27 of these egg-citing recipes will be linked in the description on my site barrel.nyc, where I hope they ignite your passion for cooking dishes from around the world. <laughs> Those are good. Good egg buns. I would like to thank Miss Play for sponsoring today's excellent episode. Miss Play is a platform that allows you to play some of your favorite games and earn points to collect gift cards. As many of you know, I play a lot of phone games while I'm cooking, while I'm traveling. I'm just a phone playing kind of girl. This platform has tons of different mobile games to choose from, everything from action and adventure to puzzle, word games, even trivia. As you play your favorite games, you collect points and you can use those points to redeem them for gift cards across a variety of different companies. Through this app, I've actually come to discover a couple of new games that I'd never heard of before that I now love. One of them is a puzzle game called Playdoku, where you have to use your own spatial awareness to figure out different boxes to solve all the different puzzles. It's honestly quite fun. The more you play, the more points you can collect and you can use those points to get these gift cards. I'm already a huge mobile game player, so why not put my play towards something beneficial to me? If you sign up today, you'll get 200 points. And if you use my code barrel, you'll get an additional 50 points, which gets you super close to your first gift card already. The link is here, but I'm also leaving it in the description. And with that, it's time to get cracking. Okay, I'm done with the egg puns. Hi, I'm Angela, a Greek old lady living in Spain, and this is a super simple dish that my Albanian family loves. It's just hard-boiled eggs, cut in quarters, that you top with some olive oil, oregano, and perhaps a bit of salt and black pepper to taste. Just pair it with some toasted bread and raki, a traditional liquor, and you're good to go. Enjoy! Nothing wrong with a simple hard-boiled egg. Albanian style? What's not to like? Hi everyone, my name is Camila and I'm from Belo Horizonte in Brazil. The toppings I like to put on my eggs are banana, cheese and cinnamon. I scrub banana egg with butter, add one slice of banana and the mozzarella cheese. Cinnamon on top and you are done. I like to eat it for breakfast when I'm looking for something sweet. I hope you enjoy it. It tastes like banana bread. <laughs> Get upset if you want in the comments, but until you try it, I don't want to hear it because this is actually, this is pretty good. <laughs> My name is Linda and I'm from Democratic Republic of Congo. Currently, I'm living in Belgium. I want to talk about omelette à la sardine, which is an omelette with sardine in oil, onions, pili pili, uh, habanero or scotch bonnet pa uh, paper paste, and some herbs. You can have it as a brunch, uh, Angover dish with uh, tons of pili pili, or in my case, an uh, easy dinner after a long, tiring day. I hope you enjoy it. Bye! Yum! More tin fish in your eggs. That's what my new platform is gonna be. <laughs> Hi, world, my name is Catherine, and I'm from the Philippines. My current go to egg dish nowadays is the cabbage omelette, although it looks like a stir fry. I put sauteed onions and cabbage with tuna into beaten eggs, then make a scramble and it's good with rice. I just feel like tuna fish, unlike sardines, like it can't be hot, at least not for me. But if I just swapped out the tuna, this is pretty much what I have for breakfast every morning. Hi, my name is Carlo. Here in Puerto Rico, it's common to add sauteed onions and peppers, diced cooked potatoes, diced ham, and diced tomatoes into omelets. After it's done, we add cheese and fold it in half. I like to use queso de bola, which is very popular here in the island. We eat this with toast or salting crackers. Buen provecho. This is the type of omelet that like I pay for, and it's fun that I made it at home. Heck yeah, Puerto Rico. Love it. Hi everyone, I'm Alexa from Singapore. Now a quick, simple yet comforting topping to put on top of fried eggs is simply by adding ground black pepper and a few splashes of Maggi seasoning sauce. Now this is something that my mom would cook when she doesn't feel like cooking or when I crave a light meal and we just simply have it with hot fluffy rice. 
Quick, simple, tasty, yet so comforting. I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it too. Bye! Simple egg, little Maggie. It's good. I'm Samantha from the US and I'm here to talk to you today about one of my favorite things to do with eggs and that is make spaghetti eggs. It's the perfect thing to do with leftover pasta. It's super easy. So what you wanna do is take about two tablespoons of butter, saute your spaghetti in, get it nice and warm. And then you wanna add in your scrambled eggs and salt and pepper and then a bit of cheese. And then this dish really gets a glow up when you add crumbled, crispy bacon on top. And if I'm feeling fancy, I'll add some diced chives in there as well. I love it. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon. I'm a Korean American living in France. The dish that I'd like to introduce you to is called Mayak Geron, which translates to drug egg. And I know that sounds a bit weird and maybe scary, but no drugs are involved. It's just that the eggs are so good, they're addictive, hence the name. It's common to serve these eggs over a bowl of hot rice. So I really like this dish because it's super easy to make with quite common ingredients. It tastes phenomenal, which is like important <laughs> when you wanna make something or eat something. And it's just a step above your regular rice and eggs. The soft boiled yolk just really elevates the dish. It's so beautiful and decadent for just a simple dish. I need a moment. <laughs> this might be one of the best egg dishes I've ever had in my entire life. My name is Marvella Guglimelli. I am from the Seychelles Island. The dish that I'm gonna make is Zuzev Salad, Haricot Vert, Egg Salad, and Green Beans. It tastes sour, and when you combine it with rice, it balances it out. This dish is different from American salads because they usually put a mayonnaise or a heavy sauce. But this salad has vinegar. It is very light and easy and it's tasty. Mmm. Ooh, it is salty and sour. Okay. My name is Tere and I live in Mandaluyong City in Metro Manila. The dish that I'm going to talk about is hard boiled eggs that's cooked together with rice in a rice cooker and then chopped up and then mix it with tomatoes. Dorms in the Philippines usually they don't allow cooking inside but you are allowed to bring a rice cooker. If you're not comfortable making hard boiled eggs together with the rice, you can use a different pot for it and then just cook it alongside the rice. It has rice, it has protein, and it has vegetables. Wow, the rice is really good. I'm giving this dish 10 out of 10. It really has everything you need for a filling meal, and it's delicious. Hi, my name is Megan. I'm originally Irish, but I live in Hampshire in the UK at the moment. The dish I want to share with you today is called Dippy Eggs and Soldiers. It's a beloved childhood classic. It's a soft boiled egg. You lop the top off the egg and you get some toast. You butter the toast, cut it into strips. I like to make the strips about the size of my thumb. And then you just dip the toast into the egg. Done. The flavor is kind of like a cacophony of salty and fatty and velvety and really rich. It's three really simple ingredients allowed to shine and allowed to be just what they are. It's so rich and yummy. Whoa. This is a very different experience eating an egg like this versus eating it in an omelet. It's all about the egg. My name is Sanjeevani Mahindale and I'm from Bangalore, India. The dish I would like to share with you all is Egg Burji. Egg Burji is basically India's take on scrambled eggs and lies on more of a spicy and savory side of the taste palette. It only takes eggs, onions and tomatoes along with green chilies and some other spices to make it. I love this dish because it is pretty easy to make and yet tastes delicious and fancy. And also you can get as creative as you want with the ingredients. Mm, it's so good. This is not scrambled eggs because scrambled eggs are kind of basic and bland. Egg borgi is like on steroids, scrambled eggs. My name is Bianca. 
I live in the northeast of Germany. I have lived in Ireland for 20 years, but moved back to Germany. Life can be stressful, as everybody knows. Cheesy eggy toast comes to the rescue. In a bowl, you mix grated cheese and an egg. You put the mixture onto the toast, and then you put the whole thing upside down, cheese side down, into the frying pan. After four to five minutes, you can lift it up slightly, and if it's nice and brown underneath, you put it onto your plate, and that's it. Oh. This is genius! Germany, you've done it. My name is Ben, I'm Thai American, and I live in Boulder, Colorado. Um, the Thai dish that I wanted to share with you today is called Kai Luk Kui. Um, it's a pretty well-known dish in Thailand, and it's basically deep-fried, hard-boiled eggs topped with a sauce that's made from tamarind, fish sauce, and palm sugar, as well as crispy fried shallots, cilantro, and either fresh sliced or whole roasted dried chilies. So if you're looking to kind of branch out your exploration of Thai cuisine, I really suggest trying to make this dish. Oh my God. I've never had anything like this. Oh my gosh. I feel like manic, it's so good. My name is Tueria and I live in Canada, but I am from Pakistan. The dish that I would like to share with you today is Andika Salen. It is a simple dish made of poached eggs which are cooked in a simple curry. The dish can be paired with rice or naan, but my favorite pairing is chapati. It is really quick to make, very filling and extremely flavorful. Whenever you want to cook up a quick meal in the house and have some eggs lying around and want to get a little bit more creative than the typical omelette, we always cook this dish. And my family and I will eat this about once a week but I almost never get tired of it. I obviously did not grow up in a Pakistani household, but this just feels so comforting. It's nice. My name is Kisa and I am Japanese American and I live in Georgia in America. The dish I want to share with you today is called Oyakuron. It translates to parent and child rice bowl with the parent being the chicken and the child being the egg. So it's basically a chicken, egg, and rice dish where chicken and onions are simmered in a soy sauce broth with beet and eggs slowly drizzled into the bubbling broth at the end. The entire thing is served over sticky rice with green onions on top. It's a very easy dish to make and you almost always have the ingredients on hand. I think people should try this because it's not only easy to make but especially fun to drizzle in the egg at the last minute. My husband and I still laugh when we sometimes pour too fast and wind up with a huge blob of egg, but that's half the fun. It's. It's beautiful. Wow. Hello, I'm Claire. I live near Paris in France, but I'm also from Cameroon. And today I want to talk to you about one of the most popular street food dishes in Cameroon called the spaghetti omelette sandwich. This dish is very filling because of the spaghetti, the egg, and the bread. In Cameroon, we eat it mostly for lunch but sometimes breakfast. I like this dish because it's really pantry friendly and really easy. It's simple but flavorful and it will bring anyone a little bit of joy and a smile on his face. Mm, definitely an excellent sandwich. My name is Sharifa and I'm from the little red dot called Singapore. The dish I want to share with you all today is called Nasi Talo Kicap in Bahasa Melayu. Nasi Talo Kicap is simply made with fresh or leftover white rice, a fried sunny side up egg, and then it's drizzled on top with kicap manis, a thick sweet soy sauce. The dish is not the most aesthetic looking dish, but it's perfect for a quick lazy meal and it's what I think of when it comes to comfort food. <laughs> 10 out of 10, that was so good. I'm Princey. I live in the city called Cochin in Kerala, India. Today I would like to share with you all the dish called egg chai or egg tea. I like this dish very much because of its different and unique combination, the black tea and a raw egg. This dish, egg chai, usually made in the olden times, especially in the state Kerala, the southmost state in India. Sometime when the milk is not available, they used to depend on the egg to make the egg chai. I know that many people will be scared because of the raw egg, but trust me, you won't regret it. 
Doesn't taste eggy. Tastes kind of good. Good cup of tea. If you didn't tell me there was an egg in it, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Benedek. Uh, I'm from Budapest, Hungary. And uh, today I would like to introduce you to Tojásos Nokedli. It's basically a, a fresh homemade pasta with eggs. The pasta part is nokedli. We take the nokedli, we cook it and then we add some beaten eggs to it. And uh, basically what you have is kind of like a carbonara. And from just these two ingredients you have a whole filling dish. Whoa, this is crazy. It's good. I'm Melody and I live in New Mexico in the United States. The dish that I want to share with you today is called Cheerios and Eggs. The dish is Cheerios with scrambled eggs. Basically, you take some butter and melt it in a pan on the stove or in the microwave, and then you add your Cheerios and get them warm and toasted and tossed in the butter and add an egg to the pan and scramble it. And then you toss it all together with salt and hot sauce, and it's absolutely delicious. You just eat it with a spoon. Funky. I'm, I'm liking this more than I thought I would. My name is Young. I currently live in Seattle, Washington, but I am originally from China. The dish that I would like to share with you today is Jidanggeng, or Chinese-style steamed eggs. It's a pretty common dish in China, I think. There are different variations and toppings options, but at its core, it's basically a savory steamed egg custard made with beaten eggs, mixed with either water or broth. The flavor is pretty simple because there really aren't a lot of ingredients involved, but I like that it's savory but light at the same time. Overall, the dish is really cozy and comforting and it just really warms you up from the inside. Mmm. Well, it tastes excellent. My name is Lynn and I live in San Francisco, California. A great way to use pork floss is to make banchang nu, or Vietnamese pizza, a popular street food. It's grilled rice paper with pork floss, egg, and laughing cow cheese, or really anything you want. First, you take a dry piece of rice paper and you put it over heat. Usually it's done over coals, but a frying pan works, it just takes a little bit longer. Then you add some egg, laughing cow cheese, lots of green onions, and pork floss. It's crispy, warm, sweet, and savory. Vietnamese food has a lot of textures and flavors, and this dish really exemplifies it. So while you can customize the toppings however you like, the grilled rice paper is essential. Holy sh- Everybody make this. The end. My name is Merve and I am from Melbourne, Australia. The dish I want to share with you all today is called chilbert. Chilbert is basically a poached egg dish which consists of garlic yogurt poured on top and then paprika butter which is poured on top of that. The way we poach the eggs is a little bit different. We actually use a shallow pan and then we just crack the egg directly into the water and just let it cook away. It's very warm from the hot eggs and the warm butter and paprika and at the same time it's cold from the yogurt and it tastes even better when you eat it with bread. This is outrageously delicious. This should be illegal. This is spectacular. My name is Donna and I live in Singapore. A common dish eaten in Singapore is congee with century egg and meatballs or shredded meat. The base is a savoury rice porridge and then it's topped with uh, different types of toppings but a very common combination is diced century egg with meatballs or shredded meat. Uh, my family also adds a lot of ginger to it as well. It's sometimes portrayed as something quite scary or weird. Uh, but a lot of cultures around the world have different kind of fermented foods and I just want to add that century egg is just one of them as well. Whoa, that is a busy, busy flavour palette. This is actually up my alley. Who'd have thought it? My name is Romina and I live in Toronto, Canada, but I was born and lived in Mexico City. The breakfast dish I would like to share with you today is huevos divorciados, or divorced eggs. Huevos divorciados is a way of plating huevos rancheros. 
This is a breakfast dish that consists of two fried eggs, each surrounded by different types of salsas. I think most Mexicans have seen a version of this dish one way or another, since many breakfast dishes for us consist of three ingredients, tortilla, egg, and sauce. Surprisingly, we found a variety of ways to make these into all different dishes. In Mexico, it's super important to have a crunchy egg. So that's why when I go out for breakfast here in Canada, I'm always underwhelmed as how soggy the egg white is. Oh my god. It's so I'm so impressed. <laughs> this is such an impressive breakfast to have made myself. I'm Alifia from San Diego, California. I grew up in Tanzania in East Africa and I'm here to talk about a very common street food known as chipsy mayai. In Swahili, chips refers to as fries and mayai translates to eggs. This is a very simple recipe made with very basic common ingredients found in every household. It is as simple as it sounds. It's basically fries in an omelette. It is very comforting and can be easily put together quickly. This is a very traditional Tanzanian street food and I'm so glad I was able to introduce it to all of you. I hope you like it. Yes. It's like a normal omelet with french fries in it. I hope this episode inspired you to look at eggs a little bit differently. Leave a comment if there is an egg preparation that we totally missed and we shouldn't have. In the meantime, here are two other episodes from the show to help explore dishes around the world like rice and ice cream. And I will see you all in my next episode.